Welcome to the final day of the 2016 IKA Kite Foil Gold Cup in Cannes Courtier Precinct at Pearl, Qatar. Today the title would be decided and the world's best kite riders were ready to put in one last push and fight for that coveted top place. Today is going to be a big challenge you know, because uh, we are only two points between me and Oli and we fight for a world title champion and uh, it's already windy in the water so it could be a good race and uh, the plan is to make six, six races today so yeah one more discard and uh, we will see but is it a big big fight in perspective against Oli. Oliver Bridge started the day as leader, but after six extremely tight races, the title slipped from his grasp and he dropped to second. Axel Mazzella, who'd had a consistent week, finished third, whilst victory went to Maxime Notcher. The Monaco rider not only managed to win the event in Qatar, but with it, he secured the season's top prize and took the 2016 IKA Kite Foil Gold Cup. It's his 10th world title, a remarkable achievement. My goal is very focused on Oli today because it's like a, like a max racing because uh, we fight uh, each other for a world title. And uh, you know, when, when I see someone uh, just in front of me and Oli was behind and just relax and, uh, and focus on my place. I'm super happy to win V7 and uh, all the Gold Cup for another world title and this is my 10 times world title so I'm super happy. In the women's fleet, the fiercest of battles was for second place between Jade O'Connor and Gina Hooson. The Australian rider had the better day on the water and finally managed to get that runner-up spot. Alina Kalinina has dominated all week and victory for her sealed the overall Kite Foil Gold Cup for 2016. Today we had um, a little bit stronger wind conditions and also the wind was changing, shifting, so uh, racing be became more challenging because you could use some, some uh, tactics from sailing and uh, of course I'm very happy to win uh, this event and uh, the Gold Cup. So that's it for 2016. The riders picked up their prizes at a glorious closing ceremony organised by the hosts and will return next year for the 2017 IKA Kitefoil Gold Cup where there'll be some more fast and intense battles.